Hi, I'm going to talk you through something very important to do with maths, and it's about eating sweets. Uh, everybody knows that the red ones are the best ones, um, but I'm not convinced that round trees distribute their sweets fairly. Uh, I've already written my letter of complaint, just on the presumption that I'm going to be proved right with Dear Mr. Roundtrees, I'm livid with your poor choice of sweet colours. Everyone uh, knows that the red ones are the best, and they were significantly, uh, at the 5% level, underrepresented in my pack, Mr. Anoid Maths Teacher. Um, I, I'm slightly misleading you there. I'm just going to check whether to see whether the sweets are distributed fairly across all the colours. I'm not really going to look at red in particular, but uh, if any of them are unfairly represented, I may just change the letter to pretend that that was my favourite colour. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, opening them up first, you can see, yeah, oh, whoa, ooh, ooh, I can already see, I think I might be onto something here. Uh, I'm expecting some free packets of sweets for this, possibly. But uh, I'm just going to draw myself a little table up, so I'll just pop those to one side and be careful not to accidentally eat them just yet. Um, so, I'm going to put the different colours down. I can see I've got green, orange, uh, yellow, I'll call that one uh, purple, I think. And I'm just going to put their frequencies. So how many green ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. Orange is just the two. Yellows one, two, three, four, five, and purples one. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen sweets. Yep, and I've got six, eight, thirteen, a total of fourteen here. Well that's that's good, I think. I'm actually gonna add in an extra colour for the red ones that should be there. But aren't. So a total of fourteen. Those are my observed frequencies. 14 sweets in 5 colours, so my expected number for each one, assuming they were equally distributed and all that, uh, is going to be 14 divided by 5, because there's 5 colours. 14 divided by 5 is going to be 2.8. I would expect, in a slightly bizarre, mathematically perfect pack of sweets, to get 2.8 of each colour. And I'm going to look how far away was what I saw from what I would expect. I'm going to do my observed minus my expected. So 6 minus 2.8. 2 minus 2.8 is minus 0.8. 2.2 uh, .2 here. Minus 1.8. And that's going to be minus 2.8. It's a long way off of what I expected that one. That's actually a long way above what I expected. Uh, if I add those up, that will just come to 0. So I have to square all of these terms. I'm going to rely on my industrial calculator for that. So, just squaring all of these. That will be 0 0.64. Uh, of course, squaring these has the benefit, or one of the benefits, of getting rid of the negative terms. So those are my observed most expected squares. I have to divide each of those by the expected value for that suite. So it's all the same for these, they're all 2.8. Uh, so, here we go. Probably going to get some fairly unpleasant numbers here. Yeah, um, I'm going to put these into the memory, but here I'll just put the a couple of decimal places. I'm just going to pause whilst I do all of that. So I've just finished doing those sums here. Uh, putting them all into the calculator, I've left them with much more decimal places on the calculator and added them up with the, the unrounded versions, and I come up with 9.571. Uh, I'm doing the chi-squared test. I don't think I've told you that yet. So my, my chi-squared test statistic is 9.57142. Just chuck a couple of hypotheses. My null hypothesis is that the, the sweets are fairly distributed, if you like. So the colour is independent of the frequency. And my, my alternate hypothesis, then, is that the colour isn't independent.
essentially I'm saying that H0, my null hypothesis is that there's nothing strange going on, the colours are not that unusually distributed for what I would expect. Uh, H1, my alternate one is that there is a connection and that there's something, this is unusually distributed, this is a, a, an unusual result for a packet of sweets if they're supposed to be equally distributed. I've got my test statistic, there are five variables, if you like, five colours of sweets I could have. Um, there's always 14 sweets in the pack, so I have four degrees of freedom. I can pick any numbers I like for four of these things, and then the fifth colour of sweet has to be whatever it takes to make it up to 14. So my degrees of freedom is four. If you look these up, uh, you can look at this on the chi-squared table. For significance, I'm looking at the 5% level and I get a critical value of 9.49 anything 9.49 or bigger is reason to doubt the H0 my test statistic is bigger than that so this sentence is a little bit obvious but 9.57 is bigger than 9.49 so therefore, I am going to reject H0 and accept H1. I have reason to doubt the independence of sweets. Looks like this letter may well be being sent. Thanks for watching.